hi friends this is jitendra today we will going to see how to consume soap based web service with mule soft web consumer web service consumer connector so it is very simple and uh, it is very simple to you know like consume your service so i will show you from scratch so first we will create a file new mule project i will say web service example okay i will say finished okay so what i will do first i will you know drag and drop uh, http listener component in the message source region and configure it so i will simply say add and i will keep all the default settings here i will say part equals to consume i will say method get because i will show, you will come to know why we have used the get method now we will going to pass one query parameter with http so we have to store that query parameter uh, using flow variable so i will look for variable okay i will set variable okay i will give it name destination i will say message dot inbound properties dot i will say http query params dot okay i will say code so we are sending a code as a query parameter i will show you like what you will come to know on that now i will drop web service consumer connector after flow variable and we need to consume the service okay so first just copy your wsd url then click on add button near the connector configuration okay now either you can uh, search your wsd exchange either you can locate it from some uh, your local file location i will directly use the url okay once you you paste your url it will automatic populate service port and address for the web service okay i will say okay once you press the okay you can see what are the list of operations available with the particular web service we have a find flight we have a list all flight i will going to use a find flight okay now a uh, web service consumer the web service is expecting some input parameter we have to pass the input parameter so what we can do you know like uh, use the transform message in the front of web service consumer so once you do it will show all uh, or metadata automatically what it require as a what web service require as a input it re it expecting destination as a parameter and you know like we have stored the destination in the flow variable right see we have stored the destination in the flow variable so what we can do we can map the destination with this destination okay that is very simple so this is how you can consume your service now we will going to test that i will say run project okay yes let application to deploy once it deploy we will use the postman to test the application okay this application has been deployed successfully so i have a postman uh, okay and i was passing the code equals to lx uh, i think i have changed it to destination let me check okay it required the query parameter as a destination so let me change code to destination okay so now you, if you post click on the send so it will return all the flight having the destination lax flow was dot destination something is something is wrong okay here i have done mistake okay it was expecting code only sorry sorry it was not expecting destination okay we can have the code okay it should be fine now see it written the flight with destination lax 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 now i will do sfo i want 
all the flight having the destination SF4. Okay, I will just send. See, return with uh, flight with destination SF4. Now, if you want the output in the form of you know, JSON, so what we can do, uh, let me search for XML to JSON. So you can uh, drag and drop XML to JSON transformer in after web service consumer and save the application. So it will deploy the application again with the latest changes. Okay, it has been deployed and application been started. Now if I send it, it will give me a result back in the JSON C. It give me a result in the back of application. We can again check for LX. Okay, this is how you can you know store your you can sorry you can consume consume your web service, you can use make use of the flow variable, okay, and even there's one good feature with that uh, uh Microsoft is that uh, once you you know like uh, put the transformation in the front of the web service, okay, it will show the metadata. Okay, I will show you one more thing. If you place the transform message after web service consumer, you will see the what is the input message. It, it, is, it will automatically show what is the input message. Okay, this is how uh, how we can consume the web service. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching video.